Hey guys, too fast for you here again. Well, a kind of a special Gran Turismo 4 video. Um, yeah, you, you, today you can call me too slow for you. <laughs> I'm driving the old bucket of bolts, the old Model T. But I got to tell you, I love this car. It just, it just belongs on this uh, circuit. You know, it's got the car... And the circuit itself have a lot of charm to them. And, and one thing about GT4, if you look at my 1,000-car uh, garage, it's got some road cars in there that you never see anymore. And they may not be the fastest, but they're cool. And then on top of that, because you have the secret menu now and can pick your opponents because of the secret menu, you can create some fantastic races in Gran Turismo 4. On top of all of that, Seattle is probably one of the most missed circuits in the Gran Turismo franchise. Everybody's calling for it to please come back. And it never made it for five, never made it for six. I, I, I don't follow seven anymore, so I'm not sure what the deal is there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it didn't come back in sport. But anyway, um, I, I love this circuit. It is just uh, something about it that everybody liked, especially the hill here coming up. Uh, going in reverse, boy, I'll tell you, you could do some jumps on this hill. I mean, some massive ones with faster cars. Uh, and I, I tell you, the guys today, you know, there's a lot of young guys that started the game with Gran Turismo um, 5 or Gran Turismo 6, sports, or even uh, uh, Gran Turismo 7. And they never got to experience Gran Turismo 4. They've heard how great it is and how everybody seems to pick it for number one, at least for the most part. Some will disagree, but uh, most agree that Gran Turismo 4 was the epitome of the franchise. And they now have an opportunity to play the game again, and I'll tell you why. A lot of the 4K... TVs, they don't have composite or component hookups anymore. So you, you can't plug the PS2 directly into the 4K TVs in many uh, cases. However, I got to tell you, um, the, the, what I'm about to explain to you that works, uh, uh, you got to try it out. I'll tell you, don't bother with that $20 crap. It doesn't work. You'll get jaggy graphics, a mess, uh, and you, you get nowhere near the uh, 1440p that I'm running here. Now, I know that it may not look like a perfect 1440p, but you guys have to realize that I'm filming with my iPhone right on a 4K TV screen right off there. And you get a lot of glare from the screen. You can't help it. You know, especially during the daytime. If a car passes by or what have you. And so if you see a flashing now and then. Please ignore it. Because what I see on the TV is way better. Than what this video looks like. So. There's a video. That I did. And it's got, um, uh, it's both on TikTok as well as here on YouTube. And uh, on YouTube, it's the one with the Too Fast For You avatar. And on TikTok, it's the one with the um, GTR Falcon at Nürburgring, Nordschleif. Anyway, uh, watch that video. Because... You can buy two products that'll cost you 130 bucks. They're strictly plug and play, no modifications to the PS2, no need for special software and all kinds of all kinds of other stuff. They plug and play. It takes 10 minutes. So it's worth getting. And you can pull your PS2 out of the closet and enjoy Gran Turismo 4 again. You know, Gran Turismo 4 has got that kind of holiday, Christmassy spirit to it. Like getting a toy when it's snowing outside during Christmas, right? <laughs> it's got that feeling to it. I don't know how to explain it. I think a lot of you guys will 
agree with me on that. It's uh, got that uh, really, really hometown feeling to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to park over here for a second, and then I'm going to take off again. But this time we're going to use uh, driver's view only so you can get an idea of Seattle uh, running at 1440p. So uh, anyway, here we go. You can see it's, uh, you know, again, I, I can't stress this enough that, you know, if you see a flash here and there, it's only because I'm running iPhone, uh, filming iPhone against a, a TV screen, you know. So uh, the uh, you can see, though, uh, if you, you can read the signs, you don't see a lot of uh, terrible jaggies going on or anything like that. And it's certainly better than what we had back in the old days, back in 0405, when your choices were 480p or 1080i in the U.S. version. Now, everybody, I'll admit, everybody raved over the 1080i uh, and wish they had had it. That I, I don't think the PAL versions had it. It was only the uh, North American version that had it. And a lot of guys wish they had, you know. But now... According to all my tests I've ever done uh, with these new products, it doesn't matter if it's PAL, doesn't matter if it's, um, uh, you know, North American, uh, the model of the PS2. I run a slim. Uh, my model number is 79001. Uh, it's a standard slim, no mods. I'll repeat that again. And I've experienced no trouble whatsoever. No hang ups, no freezes. Nothing. It runs tip-top like a clock. So you guys ought to try it, uh, and especially these guys that have never played GT4 and have the, have the ability to get to play it even better than we had it back in the old 1080i days. I mean, 1440p is a long way from 1080i. You can see the sign, how clear it is in here. So... You know, and you get to play Seattle. I, I don't know if we'll ever see the circuit back in the Gran Turismo series. It, it went so well with the evening circuits or night circuits like Hong Kong and Champs-Élysées, you know, Paris, George V. And uh, this here, Seattle, was basically an evening course. You know, the, the, the buildings didn't light up, you know, like uh, we see in Hong Kong, we see... The signs and we see the uh, uh, that we get to see on stage five and uh, and uh, Charlie's A and with the, the Christmas lights, the white Christmas lights, but it still had that evening feel to it. And you know, this car kind of belongs on the circuit because you know it's an American car. In the old days, I'll bet you in Seattle, uh, there was a lot of Model Ts on the road. Now, this circuit is real roads. I don't know if it's ever been raced on. I, I honestly don't know. But I know there's maps on this that show that this particular circuit is re, uh, real roads that exist in Seattle. So that kind of makes it interesting, too, you know, that a lot of the uh, stuff you see now is uh, uh, part and parcel to real Seattle. Now, granted, it's, you know, we're going back to 2004, the game was developed way before that, you know, uh, uh, it started that way. And so, you know, things have changed a little bit. But it's pretty, still pretty cool, I got to tell you. And it's fun to race. Oh, especially with some of the older cars that are not powerful, just simple road cars, like, you know, in my uh, thousand car garage at the, at the end, there's a, quite a few slower cars, you know, there that I love Gran Turismo for. Anyway, listen, uh, you got nothing to lose. You spend 130 bucks for two items. They plug into each other and plug into the uh, PS2. Then you, then you take an HDMI uh, uh, cord off the, uh, those and you plug it into your TV and you're done. It took me nine minutes. And I would imagine some of you young bucks will be able to do the deal in five. Right? Anyway, uh, give it a shot. You won't be sorry you did. I appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, I appreciate subscribes and any likes. Uh, please hit those buttons for me, guys. Have a nice day and uh, take care for sure.